there, Laura Wilson from Gold Star Work here. Welcome to day 28 of Building a Daily Art Habit. Now, today I'm not actually going to carry on with my cut just at the moment. I will go back to it at a later time. But I really want to have a little play with doing my background for my fruit pictures because the way I've painted them at the moment is not the way I want to do them ultimately. And I'm not really sure what I'm doing because I want to use some crackle medium and I want to transfer a few words on there. And so today I'm going to have a play around with the canvas and some paint and the crackle medium and things and see what I can come up with for my background for my apples and my pear pictures for my kitchen. So let's go get painting. going to do is I'm going to cover my canvas with some gold paint. And this one's a, a bright gold. Now I may need to do more than one coat on here and the crackle medium instructions do say not to dry it with the hair dryer so I can carry on painting my cup in between waiting for layers to dry. So this is the main thing that I want to focus on today. Because I'm getting quite excited about getting my fruit pictures done and I don't have a clear idea in my head of how I want to do the background so I just wanted to have a play and see what I can come up with. I'm just going to let that dry and then I'll come back and do another coat. So I'm going to mix up some grey using my raw umber and my ultramarine blue and some white. You can see it goes a nice grey colour and if you want a warmer grey you put more of your Ultra, your more of your um, raw amber in, and it goes sort of a browny grey. And if you want more of the blue, then you can make it a bluer grey. But you can also make that quite neutral looking grey with it. So I'm going to. Just put the grey around where I think the background would be. And I can tidy it up once I actually start the painting of the fruit. But at this stage I'm just trying to estimate where things would be so that I can do that sort of effect that I'm looking for. And just lighten it up a bit as well because it dried quite dark. putting my crackle medium on now so it says on the back to do it in a crisscross And 
and I don't want to put it everywhere. I'm having my doubts that this is actually going to work because I have a feeling last time I used it, it worked pretty quickly. I said I wasn't going to put it in everywhere, but since it doesn't seem to be working, I'll see if any part of it will work. So I put it in the sun and as it's drying it is actually cracking. A bit more of the cracking coming through. Don't know if you're going to be able to see the gold underneath though. I think maybe if I'd only done one coat of that grey, it might have worked better. They did say on the back to do two or three coats of your background colour, but I'm not sure if that was a good idea or not now. So I've decided to have another go at this because um, the crackle wasn't really showing very much. So I've done another coat of gold just right on top. So it's got some interesting texture in there now. And I'm gonna have another go putting the paint on. And maybe I'll just do one layer this time and see what happens. And the other thing I've also done is instead of just using my interactive paints, I have mixed in some normal acrylic as well to get the colours that I want. Now in normal acrylics I only have white and some black so I've had to use some blue and some raw umber from the interactive paints but I'm just wondering if that had any effect on whether it was going to work or not. So I'm just going to try that out as an experiment. been busy waiting for layers of paint to dry for my crackle medium. I have actually been painting my teacup so this is what I've done today. I think this is about as far as I want to go with this teacup. And who knew teacups were so difficult to paint? I seem to have a lot of trouble with this for some reason. The actual teacup itself I think turned out all right. I just don't think I really like the background and in this part around here so I think I'll leave the teacups for now and come back to them another time and just concentrate on my fruit for now okay so we're gonna try crackle medium take two and hope that it works this time so I'm just putting on the crackle medium in a crisscross manner, the way they suggest. So you can see some of the cracking there. I'm going to go over it with some gold 
to bring them out. So I'm just going to put some gold paint on there. Just going to quickly go over with the brush. get my little sponge and I've got my sponge damp I'm going to take off any excess paint so here is how the background turned out so far it's got those bits of gold You can see the bits of gold in it. And the cracking. So it's making quite an interesting looking background. And I'll see how we go with the next part of doing the apples. So I've been playing around with this one as well. I've um, got some crackle medium going on there. And I've put some words on and taken some of the paint off. And once all that crackle medium is dry, I'm going to go over it with probably some raw umber and some gold. And bring out the cracks and things in there and see how it goes. So I've been having a bit of a play today and spent way too long just playing and having fun. So I haven't left myself much time to get things edited and blogs written. But um, I've had a great time playing with my paint. And that's what I like to do is I like to play with my paint and have some fun and experiment and see what works and what doesn't so hope you had some time to play with your paints today and i will see you tomorrow happy painting everyone bye